Okay, another great question from a dad that we should answer today. So this dad writes in, he wants to be anonymous and the subject matter is, I would say, sensitive. So he and his wife own several businesses. They've owned several businesses throughout their marriage and they haven't always done things on the up and up. They may owe some people some money. They may owe the IRS some money. They may not have kept their books as squeaky clean as they could have. They may have done some shady deals. Now they're going through a divorce and his wife is telling him she's gonna expose it all. He wants to know what he can do. How can he prevent his wife, who's mad that he's getting a divorce, from taking down their entire family and extended family with everything that she knows? So it's a great question. On Fridays, we talk to dads and we answer dad questions specifically. This is a great one. My name is Billy Tarasio. I'm an Arizona family law attorney, owner of Modern Law. And on my page, we talk about family law. If that's interesting, go ahead and follow me. So in this particular situation, if you came to me, I would tell you we've got options. Number one is collaborative law. Collaborative law would take your divorce out of a public forum, out of the court system, and into a private dispute resolution system. That could be very, very good. Um, In order to do collaborative law, both people have to sign off. You have to agree to confidentiality. You have to agree to use the collaborative process. Um, full disclosure, you get financial neutrals involved. So there's not gonna be any hiding money from anybody. We're gonna get it all on the table. We're gonna work it out, but the deal's gonna be between you. So the IRS won't be involved. Nobody else will be involved. Um, these, these issues may still come back to haunt you later, but at least we might be able to settle it down with regards to the actual divorce as much as possible. We also get parenting coaches involved and other kind of divorce coaches. So it really helps people from making super emotional and self-destructive decisions because you're getting not only legal support, but also mental health support and emotional support and some financial support. So that could be a good option. Mediation is also confidential, um, but it's not quite as strict of a process. So um, if I couldn't get collaborative law worked out with you and your other and your ex's attorney, um, then I would also try for some sort of our own private dispute resolution. Let that other lawyer know that like truthfully, everybody's gonna go down if we don't kinda see what we can do to get this cleaned up. And the thing is like lawyers are pro- professional problem solvers. That's our job. That's why defense attorneys look to help people. Like we, 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 look, we are professional problem solvers. So you don't have to worry about us judging you. We're not gonna judge you. We're not going to turn you in. We can't turn you in. Um, So we are a safe place for you to talk to. If that won't work, the only other option is to settle this case on terms that she would never get in front of a judge. And we gotta figure out what it is that she wants and then write a, um, a decree and an order that would lock down confidentiality or privacy. It's not ideal. As you can see, people do leak even after settlements but that would be my third and final. The thing is, in every single one of these scenarios, I would want to keep it out of court. And there are some cases where it is more dangerous to go to court than not go to court, and this might be one of those. Obviously, it's complex, and you and I need to talk a lot more. If you are in Arizona and you've got like a tricky divorce situation, contact us at Modern Law. We can definitely help.